The local boxing community is mourning the loss of a beloved coach with deep roots in the Valley. Cronkite News reporter Crystal Stone has more on how the legacy he left impacts lives beyond the ring. Some of the best boxers in the world have come through this gym, from Mike Tyson to Tyson Fury. All were touched by Alex Milligan, who for the better part of two decades built a reputation not only as a legendary trainer, but also a generous spirit. In the heart of West Phoenix stands a monument of boxing history, Central Boxing Gym, where world boxing champions and young hopefuls from all over have come to train. But earlier this month, the boxing world lost one of its legendary leaders, Alex Milligan, who for nearly 20 years co-owned and managed the iconic gym. Boxing's gonna miss him. He was a good guy. Known simply as Coach Al, Milligan crossed paths with many of boxing's titans. For being a short guy, we lost a big guy in boxing. With an even bigger heart. Throughout the years, Milligan generously fed the homeless. He's a loving, kind, God-given man. And opened the doors of his gym to anyone seeking refuge. Because of Al, what he's been through and how he respects everyone, you come in, you have a problem, he understands, he'll hear you out and he'll find a way to help you. You can never say no, never. From foster care to serving jail time, Milligan excelled beyond his past to make life better for others, especially kids. My husband like, okay, you've been bully, I'm going to train you to where you can defend yourself and give you confidence. Mrs. Milligan said her husband lived at this place, arriving early in the morning and not leaving until late at night. Still, she said the special moments they shared outside of this gym during their 27 years of marriage is what she'll miss the most. His smile, his silliness, coloring with him, going fishing with him. Just doing little things, you know, getting in our car, just going for a Sunday ride, you know, and praying with him. I'm going to miss that. The Milligan shared a home that is just as visually impressive as the gym, with his wife's Asian culture on full display. He's an awesome husband, awesome father. I never thought I would marry somebody the way I married him. Dozens of kids and grandkids later, Milligan fought his last fight against liver cancer dying at the age of 61. And in his final moments... I said, babe, I know God needs you more than I need you here. And it's not a goodbye, it's I see you later. And he just smiled and then took his last breath and he's resting now. No more pain, no more worry. Their grandson, Kihano, will take over as the gym's manager and the family plans to carry on Milligan's kindness. We are going to try to keep his legacy going by feeding the homeless. We're gonna do it in honor of him every time we do it. Memorial services for Milligan will be held this Friday and as a final tribute, his funeral procession will drive by Central Boxing Gym one last time. In Phoenix, Crystal Stone, Cronkite News.